Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. If you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So you all, we are continuing my Viewer's Choice series and this video has been requested um, a little bit to show my body oil collection. So that's what we're going to do today. I don't have every single body oil because I've finished two body oils um, and I have body oil, some body oils that have been discontinued. I have a body oil. I cannot, I don't know where it is. So I, <laughs> I will tell you uh, those ones as we get to them. But before we get started, I have on my lips today and I forgot that product too. Y'all, I'm not getting up already. <laughs> I already got up two or three times because I forgot some other things. I just got in from running errands, taking care of business. It's hot. It's hot in here filming. And, you know, I'm just not getting up. <laughs> so I said all that to say I have on my lips the product I forgot, the Too Faced um, Lip Rescue Balm in Watermelon. And then on top of that, I have the Mario, well, by Mario rose glow what are these called plumping lip serum so that's all i have on my lips today just wanted a very simple look because you know it's hot i had to go like i said and i didn't want to be filling with a lip combo okay y'all so i don't even know i'm just gonna just grab these as i go i'm not gonna go in any specific order and then i might tell you my top whichever i decide to do because i have a lot of body oils okay i have a, little, a wee bit of a problem some might say so the first body oil i'm going to talk about is the neutrogena body oil um and it's the fragrance free version now i don't use this as a body oil i use well i do use it but i use this oil as a base to mix with my perfume oils when i want to create a body oil so this is i could only find this on amazon because i did not want to use a body oil to you know for that hack that had a fragrance because to me that defeated the purpose so this is the oil i found it's good i like it and when i finish it up i will repurchase okay the next oil i purchased from amazon is the cumbia made vanilla bean body oil now you all a lot of these i've talked about in random review wednesdays I don't want to be redundant. I just filmed a random review Wednesday that this is going to be in before I knew I was going to do this video. So this is a lightly fragranced body oil. I mean, it's a barely there scent. I don't know as of yet if I will repurchase it. I'm leaning towards no, but it is a good body oil. You can use it for the bath and body. And, you know, it wasn't too expensive. Like these two, I, w I want to say under $15 on Amazon for these two oils so that is that oil and as I'm talking to you all I remember I, I'm forgetting an oil so let me just pull one right now so the next oil I'm going to talk about do I have any more from Amazon that I ordered because might as well start that way I have two that I recently just picked up from Amazon these are the nukes uh, body oils and these were, y'all, how much were these? They were under 30. I'll say they're under 30. I really like these. Oh, they smell really good. They're fragrant. They're long lasting. The packaging is cute, except they put that sticker here um, from Amazon, but the packaging is nice. It feels nice on the skin. I love these two oils, the Nukes oils, and you know, I was looking to see if they even had more because that's how much I was impressed with these. So these are really good. Love those. Um, two more that I purchased from Amazon, but now you can get them at Ulta are the Le Mans Gourmand body oils. I have it in Cream Vanille and Le De Coco. I've talked about these quite a bit. You all know I love them. Um, the only con is sometimes the packaging to me. Um, it leaks. 
and I don't like that with this pump, but you get four ounces. These were, I think, $26 or $28, and they smell really good. They feel really good. They're long-lasting. I love them, and if Le Gourmand comes out with more, I'm forgetting a very important body oil because I don't know where I put it. Y'all, this is driving me crazy. I can't remember where I stopped you all talking about these because I remember I was forgetting a very important body oil. <laughs> And I don't know what I was saying. I remember saying these were 20, $26 or $28. They're really good. Oh, if Lake Ramon came out with more body oils, I would purchase them because I like the packaging. I like the scent. I like the way they feel. So 10 out of 10 for me for the Le Monde Gourmand body oils. Okay, so what I want to do now. Mm, we'll have these right here. So let's do these. So I have three Tree Hut body oils. I have the Moonlight Glow. Well, I can't smell this one now. Oh my goodness. Whoa! I have Tropic Glow, which has a dent to about right here. And Ocean Glow. Y'all, these Tree Hut oils are the bomb.com, okay? I can, I don't I got mine at Ulta. I don't remember seeing them at Target or Walmart. They might be there by now. I don't know. But I know they're under $15. They all smell so good. They smell so good. They're very fragrant. They um they feel good on the skin. They're affordable uh, because I'm going to get to some. <laughs> These are affordable and you get five fluid ounces. I mean, the packaging to me is nice. I mean, you get a pump. I love them. Love the Tree Hut body oils. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're so good. Like this is a aquatic, sweet, perfection. Tropic Glow smells like the um, Chirosa 62, very good. This is Moonlight Glow. It's a deep, syrupy, fruity sweetness. Ooh, it's they're just good. Tree Hut Body Oils, 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Since I just talked about those body oils that you can get at Ulta, I guess I'll share some more that I've picked up from Ulta. Um, trying to make sure <laughs> that I have, oh, forgetting a really important one. Um, okay, so, Shimmer Body Oils. This is the Hemp's Glow Getter. Um, and uh, the bergamot and warm vanilla. It's a rose gold shimmery body oil. I really like this. I just decided to include the shimmer oils also because they're, they're body oils. So I really do um, like this. It smells good. The shimmer is so pretty. I love a rose gold shimmer. So love the hemp's. Okay. And the I'm burning up, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, another shimmering body oil. I don't remember if I got this at Ulta or Sephora, but it's the Anastasia Shimmer Body Oil. I've talked about this, I don't know how many times for you all. I've, it's a beautiful, now this to, to me is, if you spray too much, it can look a little glittery, but that's just my opinion. But I love to just squirt a little bit and it gives a pretty goldy, golden shimmer. And I've received compliments while wearing this one. Um, love the Anastasia body oil. I mean, I don't think I do. I have any oils that I really don't like in my collection. I don't know. As I get to all of them, we'll see. So far, I'm like, oh, I love it. I love it. Ten out of ten. Which that's good, you know. This next one you could get at Ulta is the Osea body oil. This oil feels really good, but it, it it's got that scent of. <laughs> very fresh very green you're you're purchasing this oil for your skin to nourish it i haven't used it consistently enough this is one i plan to use up this summer because this is a fresher type of oil the scent of it um very like i said earthy green so it is one that 
for me when i did use it it did feel really good on my skin this is a pricier oil i forgot to tell you the hemp is i know i think this is about i want to say 15 dollars but i know it's under 30 so i know it's under 30 this anastasia is under 40 i can remember that about it because it's been a minute since i've had to purchase it this oil i believe the full size is 50 dollars or almost 50 dollars so it's a pricey oil for me i'm not really using it <sighs> i don't know i wouldn't repurchase this at 50 some dollars because of the scent um if i notice when i use it every day uh that is doing great things for my skin then i would consider it but just for the way i like to use body oils this would be one i would not repurchase the full size unless it does something mind-blowingly obvious to my skin which i don't really foresee that happening but this is the osea body oil okay the next oil that i picked up from ulta is the ariana grande god is a woman luxurious body oil this is well loved well used i this just smells so good it's a very potent pretty smelling body oil and i would repurchase this one because it smells so good it layers with so much and i really really love it this one i believe i know it's under 40 dollars. like i said it's been a while since I've, I've purchased it but it's good and it's a one i would repurchase again okay another one that i picked up from ulta is the coco mademoiselle the body oil i remember when living ash i believe had all of us hunting down this body oil and wanting it so badly and i don't love the coco mademoiselle scent but I love this body oil. It is luxurious feeling. It is long lasting. The scent layers and lingers with so much. I love the packaging. I love everything about this oil except the price. Now this oil is over $80, I believe. It's expensive, but if you want for a treat yourself, you know, it's a good oil. It is a good oil and I love it. Love it. Okay, I believe those are all the body oils that I purchased from Ulta. So now what I want to talk about. Um, I, this is so, such a random order I'm doing this. I guess I'll do the body oils I got from Sephora. So this is the Moroccan Oil Dry Body Oil. I really like this oil. Usually dry body oils I'm not a fan of. This smells really good. It feels really good. It actually does something to my skin for my skin because sometimes with dry body oils I'm like why am I even putting this on it's, it's pointless it's useless not so with this one so this is a good dry body oil and again that's the Moroccan body dry body oil okay another one that I picked up from Sephora is the Sol de Janeiro Rio, Rio Sunset Glow Oil and I have the Copacabana Bronze Glow Oil these are very shimmery shiny and i don't use these as often as i thought i would because they're very scent specific they're very sweet smelling um cakey smelling a little bit but i need to use them more before they go bad because i know these were probably like okay i forgot to tell you the moroccan oil i believe this is pricey i can't remember how much it was but i would say i think under 50 dollars and these are under 40 dollars and I, like i said i need to use them more um i just don't tend to pull for these they have a little tint to them but they don't transfer anything once you let it set it's just i don't think of them the way when i want shimmer i just reach for my shimmer body oil as opposed to these so right now with my life, I really feel like if I, I wouldn't get these again, repurchase them if I ever use them up. It still smells good. I'm like, I'm hoping this one doesn't turn. It hasn't so far. And this one is the Rio Sunset is the easiest one to wear because this one is darker, deeper. Does it have the same scent? Yeah same super sweet vanilla vanilla-y cakey type of scent but they are good 
it's just not conducive for me to just use them all the time. You know, I don't live at the beach. I don't, you know, so I don't know about these. I don't know if I repurchase them. I feel like it's a no, but who knows? You know, maybe one day I'll, you know, be rich or live somewhere where I'm outside all the time, laying out, enjoying my life. Okay, so the next two that I believe I picked up from Sephora are the Tom Ford um, Shimmering Body Oils. I have it in Soleil Neige and Soleil Blanc. So this is your shimmery gold. This is your shimmery silver. You know, this silver to me is more like a white gold. It's not just like glaringly. I have, I'm wearing the Soleil Neige today. I mean, yeah, I guess it is pretty silver, but it's not to me that harsh looking silver glitter. I really like these. They smell really good. They feel really good. This size is perfect for me. This is the 1.5 fluid ounce and these are under $40. So I would recommend these if you want a little bougie shimmering body oil that smells really good. Can't go wrong with Tom Ford shimmering body oil. Y'all, I have one body oil and i can't think of where it is it's a tatcha body oil and i got the little sample size and it reminds me a lot of the osea body oil it's one once i use it up i, I wouldn't repurchase because it doesn't really smell that appealing to me and it's very pricey and uh yeah i want you to smell really good if i'm going to pay that price for body oil and I'm sorry, I, I just don't know where it is because I still have not finished organizing my products. It's like right when I get something organized, like I had all this organized and then I had to pull it for the video and then I'm gonna have to put it back. It's a never ending vicious cycle <laughs> for doing these videos. Okay, so from Sephora, let's continue. I picked up the um, Ellis Brooklyn Sun Fruit Body Oil. And I have the blue one too, but like, I don't know where that one is either. I can't find it. And it's the fresh, like Mediterranean smelling one. This just smells kind of like fruity, citrusy. Um, these oils from Ellis Brooklyn are nice. Um, they're 3.2 fluid ounces. They're glass. I think these are almost $70. These are expensive. So I really don't know you, you have to pour it out, does it have a pump? I don't know if I would repurchase the Ellis Brooklyn body oils. I mean, I would, they would, this smells really good, but to me, it's not as potent as it could be. Um, I haven't used it this year, so we'll see. Maybe it's gotten potent since it's been sitting since last summer, so we'll see. But right now I'm leaning towards, I unless there's an Ellis Brooklyn body oil that I can't find the scent somewhere else i would get it then but as but as like these are so good i just love the ellis brooklyn body oils they're not at that level at, at least not yet not for me in my collection okay of course you all sol de janeiro boom boom body for misa oil this oil is superb this is an oil that more would be gone if I didn't have dupes of this oil because I'm using up the dupes first and then I'll get to this one because this is 50 some dollars. Um, you get three, 3.4 fluid ounces. This to me smells the best of anything in the Charosa 62 line. I don't know what they did with this oil to this oil. What wonderful, uh, magic they put in here to make it smell so perfect so perfectly delicious and wonderful but it is and i would definitely repurchase this one again and like i said the reason why you don't see a huge dent and that it's not all gone is because i had i have like the tropic glow i have another oil i'm going to show you now i have another oil well i'm going to show you soon i have another oil i used up it's laura mercier that smell like this i didn't have it in here because i finished it up i'm not you know why should i i'm not showing you empty bottles <laughs> so i finished that one up and I, I'm just savoring this one, honey. It's so good. So, so good. Love the Sol de Janeiro oil. Okay, the last oil I believe I purchased from... No, I got one more. Okay. 
So this next oil is Fleur Missing Person, the body oil. So many of you all said, Shaughnessy, you have to get this body oil. You have to. It's so good. And I'm going to tell you something. When you, since I've used this and you pull the top off of this oil, it stinks. And it had me scared. But once I pump it out, it still smells just as good as I remember it smelling. It's a soft, musky, floral, feminine scent. But it's something about that leakage that sits in here, honey. This stinks. Yeah. I mean, smells like sour B.O. Oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but the oil inside is good. So I really do like the Fleur Missing Person body oil. But I'm still like, when are you going to give us the vanilla body oil, Fleur? Come on now. Okay, I believe this. No, I think I got this from Sephora too. Okay, so this is the Hany Good Aura, the Touchable Anti-Oil Body Oil. It's anti-oil because when you put this on your skin, it sinks in. It is divine. It smells really good. It's a soft, velvety rose scent. This is the best oil that if you don't want any residue at all, if you don't want to have to wait for it to just sink into your skin immediately, this is the oil for you. This oil is so, 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 so good. I for think I forgot to tell the price of the missing person. I believe this one, I can't remember y'all. I'm gonna say 50 or less. This Hany oil, I believe, is under $40, and I would repurchase it. I love that oil. It is so good. Now, this is the Amazing Grace Satin Finish Body Oil Mist. I believe I got this at Sephora before they stopped selling this oil. This is a nice layering oil. I really, I mean, it's this is something you can't easily find this anyway. So, after I would use this up, I feel like I would be pretty much done with it i'm not gonna hunt it down it's just a nice light floral scented um body oil it's not even one that gives i would say intense moisturization or hydration it's more for the scent for layering and um i feel like this is going to be a one and done because i'm not hunting anything down because you see i got all this stuff y'all i got one more oil i believe i got from sephora this is the amand l'occitane supple skin oil this oil is really good. This is another one I was watching um, Living Ashes channel. This has a light, sweet, kind of almond, clean scent. It's, it's a beautiful oil. It feels good. I like this oil best using the matching body butter. To me, those two are a match made in heaven. This is a good oil. Uh, I want to say this oil is, I'll say under $50. I can't remember how much this is because it's been a minute since I purchased it. Again, you, you're, you're gonna see some of these oils it looks like I haven't used a lot, but y'all, when you have this many oils, and unlike my body care where I like, I'm gonna use this up. I don't do that with my body oils. I use what I want to with my body oils. I'm like, I gotta have something in my collection. I just use what I wanna use it, unless I feel like it's gonna go bad or something. So with the body oils, you not you don't see you know big dentage in some because it's some I use a lot more than others. I get on routines and everything, but it doesn't mean that I'm not, I don't love the oil. And I do love this oil, and this is one I would repurchase. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the Bath and Body Works oils. So I wasn't going to put this in here, but it is a body oil. This is the Love Rose Vanilla Moisturizing Body Oil. Now, I have a couple of these in different fragrances that I've purchased from um, semi-annual sales or when they have a body care day sale. These oils for me are not for my body. I don't like them on my body. They're not moisturizing on my body. To me, it's pointless to put them on my body, okay? I feel like that about their lotions too while we're talking about it. The ones that come in the pump, I, they're, I just find them totally useless for me, for the way I like my skin to feel and look once I moisturize, once I put an oil on. So I use these oils only in my bath. This is a strictly bath oil for me. It doesn't it even say you can use this in your bath i don't think so yeah 
but that's how I do it because they don't work for my skin. So, but I love them to uh, put in my bathtub when I'm taking my relaxing bubble baths. So that's what I use these oils for from Bath and Body Works. Okay, another oil I have from Bath and Body Works. This is the Coco Shea Rich Moisture Coco Plus Shea Butter Body Oil. So Y'all, this oil, every time I pick up this oil, I think of Jasmine Buller because I think she bought like 10 of these. This does get strong. Okay, when I remember when I was in Bath and Body Works, so you can still get this oil. And I was like, oh my goodness, this smells so good. But then I purchased mine and I purchased three of them. And it was, I said, oh my, it's not smelling as good. But after you use it and let it sit, it becomes like a nice smelling, comforting, warm Coco Shea scent. This is a good body oil. These body oils from Bath and Body Works, the price is not on here. Oh, yes, it is. It's $20.95. So let's just say $21. You get 6.3 fluid ounces. As you can see, the packaging bubbles and everything when you use the oil. This is a good oil. I wouldn't pay $21 for it. I, because at Bath and Body Works, you can wait them out. You can wait them out for a, a coupon to get a discount. You can wait them out for a, a body care day sale. But I do recommend these on sale because they are really good. Um, I wouldn't say they're, they're, you know, I don't know if it's going to make my favorite. I'm going to spread them all out and then I'm going to do a top however many I think it's worthy. I don't even, I don't know if I'm going to do a top 10 or a top five. We're, we're going to see, but this is a good oil. It is a good oil. I purchased all mine on sale. Another oil I have from Bath and Body Works is the Pink Paradise Dragon Fruit and Hibiscus Shimmer Body Oil. Now I have... One of these in In The Stars, I purchased from a semi-annual sale, and I have, or maybe it was a semi-annual sale. I can't remember, but I purchased it on some sale. And I have another one that came out with this summer collection. Oh, this smells so good. These oils, these shimmer body oils, to me, are overly glittery. Um, from Bath and Body Works. So I like them. I like them for layering, for the pretty shimmeriness it gives your skin. And this Pink Paradise smells really good. Again, okay, so this one is $19.95, so $20. Again, honey, get a coupon, wait for a sale. Don't pay full price for this unless you are obsessed because they are good. If you want a good shimmering body oil that's very potent, fragrant, these are good for Bath and Body Works. And they are rare and few and far between. Okay, so next, what are we going to talk about? Okay, I, let's do some drugstore um, body oils, okay? So, I have here, I'm trying to make sure I have them all because <laughs> y'all know me. Oh, before I do that, before we do, since I did Bath and Body Works, let's do Victoria's Secret. So from Victoria's Secret, I have, this is discontinued, but I wanted to show you all in case you have like an outlet, a Victoria's Secret outlet, you may can find it. They're satin body oils. These whoo, are for layering. They're just for layering. They, to me, they don't really, they don't do what some of the other oils do. But I'll tell you what, if, they, if Victoria's Secret brought these back, I would get them again because I love you know, this was 1950. The packaging is very similar to the Chanel body oil. Um, you know, over $80, $20. So, yes, if Vicky brought these back, I would get them again. If you all see them like in an outlet or something, they're good. They're good. I've had these, I want to say three to four years and they're still smelling good and feeling good honey okay another oil i have from victoria's secret this is victoria's secret peak this is a coconut oil y'all this oil is stupendous okay now i do have the honey oil somewhere i couldn't find i do have the vanilla oil i don't know where it is right now and i have i think two limited edition like the rose and another one of this from pink but I wanted to rep, this is the one I used to represent it because this is the one that I have on my dresser in my rotation. I love this oil. 
it smells really good it feels really good i mean it feels so good and what's funny with the coconut conditioning body oil the honey body oil is sticky i don't love that one at all i love the scent of it but and the rose body oil i have is similar to the formulation of this it's something about them those honey oils that are sticky and i have to have my skin be wet and just put it on right after the shower uh because i on dry skin i don't i don't like it i don't like the honey oil but this cocoa oil i highly recommend i stocked up on these during a semi-annual sale i think i bought three of them two or three so when i use them up they still have it they just change the packaging and i prefer the fun girly packaging that pink used to have instead of the clean aesthetic modern packaging so i hope the the formulation hasn't changed because like i said it's perfection this is perfection in a bottle i was like shazam what took you so long to just try the original one it is so good y'all so good okay so now let's talk about some of the drugstore body oils because those are all the ones i have from victoria's secret so i have two from being now i've heard this pronounced i've heard this pronounced being french or being frenchy i'm just I, you know what I, i'm going to say frenchy because that's what it looks like i have lavender cloud and solar fleur and then i finish up the vanilla one and i can't remember the name of it it's the one that was so popular so these come in oh and i told you the price of the pink body oil didn't i well maybe i did but the <laughs> the pink body oil if you don't get it on sale i believe it's like 20 bucks too wait for a sale don't, don't ever pay full price for victoria's secret and bath and body work never okay so these oils ugh. Now, the lavender oil, lavender cloud is very strong. It's very strong. I just don't love lavender. It's it's okay. I don't I don't love the scent of it. I was hoping it would smell more lavender vanilla like, but it it is a good oil. I believe these are under $20 or $20. Um, I don't love the stoppers. I don't love oils with these stoppers. I, it kind of gets on my nerves. But for a... Some people love the cat, the vanilla one. I wish I could remember the name of it. I thought I had something in here um, in that collection, but I do not. But the vanilla one, the oil to me smell more of oil and not like vanilla. The lavender cloud one smells more lavender. And now since I've had it for a minute, it's starting to smell more like the oil than the fragrance. And I hate that. So I don't, I wouldn't repurchase this. I wouldn't repurchase the Frenchy lavender cloud because I don't love lavender like that. And this is one, you know me, I'm like, Lou, let me just try the whole collection. So I just got the Joy and Bliss Solar Fleur. So let me smell this, y'all. When I smelled it, I think I really liked it. Yeah, to me, it smells beachy. Like a beachy floral scent. I can't see myself repurchasing this one. This one is hard to find in my area. Um, I had to order it online from Target. So I just feel like these these uh being frenchy body oils it would have to be a scent that they came out with that i was just curious about and really wanted back really wanted to try it because the ones i've tried I, I as of right now i do not want to repurchase any of them they're good they're not bad oils it's just the scent the fragrances aren't grabbing me of the oils they have available Okay, this next oil is from TPH Anything Glows, um, a luxe but lightweight body oil with squalene, vanilla plus tuberose. This oil is really good. I, looking at the light, I'm down to here right now on this body oil. This was one, it took me a minute to warm up to. 
it's a light faint scent of rose and vanilla but it does it feels really good on your skin the only thing the packaging i feel like this leaks when i use it but this oil you can find at walmart i want to say it's under 15 dollars when i purchased it i want to say it was maybe 12 but i don't know how much it is now but this is a good body oil and i would repurchase it i would repurchase it i feel like the longer it's set though i feel like the scent sometimes is weaker but sometimes with these oils you got to shake them up and and then they're okay so um tph i would repurchase once i finish it because it is a good nice soft fragrant um body oil that smells really good layers really well it's just that i feel like the scent sometimes is faint but for the price, for the scent, it's a lightweight feeling. Like, but it's a very good body oil. I would repurchase it. Okay, another oil I just recently purchased um, is the Bioma Nourishing Body Oil. I picked this up from Target. Cute packaging. This doesn't have a scent. It's a thicker, a little bit more like a gel oil. I feel like it's really good for your skin. Um, I don't know if right now okay i'm looking at the neutrogena this neutrogena i don't find is moisturizing so i might would try mixing my uh per, perfume oils with this oil if i could get this top open it doesn't seem like this just easily you know i can't get this open so we'll see but I, I said all that to say the only way I may would repurchase this, even though it's a good oil, feels good. I mean, no complaints, except that it has no scent. And I usually am purchasing body oils to layer to enjoy the fragrance of the body oil. So if I can figure out a way to pop this and maybe use this or pump it in there and see how it does mixed with the perfume oil, this might be one I would use instead of the Neutrogena because the Neutrogena those oils don't really i don't like the neutrogena body oils i just use it because it's fragrance free but this one is fragrance free to my nose also i've heard some people say that they feel like it has a lightweight light sweet scent i don't smell anything from this oil nothing so that that's one way i might choose to use this oil um because it is scentless fragrance free to my nose but it is good y'all and it's like i said about 15 dollars at target Ooh, okay this next body oil is the avino daily moisturizing oat oil plus jojoba this is a good body oil i want to say this is ten dollars or less but i don't love i don't love the scent of this and like i said me with body oils i'm about the fragrance because usually unless you just have a horrifically horrible body oil like to me these do nothing for my skin um but most body oils are going to condition are going to give you shine sheen all of that so i'm looking for that along with a very good smelling body oil but you get 6.7 fluid ounces you have a spray pump it's a good oil i it's a good oil okay it kind of reminds me more somewhat of this amand oil this is um 50 or less and then this is 10 or less so you know um but i just don't love the scent of this would i repurchase this one probably you know what if i was in the mood to just save some money honey i would repurchase it but just for the scent alone the like the the way i like to use my body oils i'm leaning towards probably not but not because it's not a good body oil it really is a good one. And I'm seeing it says, it says smoother, e more even skin in one week. Maybe I need to start just use this every day and see if I notice something. But who knows? I might have repurchased it. I'm not going to say I would not ever. But it's not like high up on my list. Like once I use this, I know I'm going to have to get it again. It's not at that level. Okay, this next oil is the Baby Dove Soothing Body Melanin Rich Skin Moisturizer. This is a good body oil. It smells really good. Yeah, it just has a nice light scent, kind of sweet scent. Again, once I use this up, 
I probably wouldn't repurchase this. I was just curious about it because I saw melanin, rich skin, nourishment. It's a nice body oil, but it doesn't blow me away. Um, it's affordable. But, I, like, these oils, I'm not going to say I'm never going to get them again, but I'm leaning towards more than likely once I finish this up, I'm probably not going to get it again. And as I'm talking about this, I remember I have, I think, a baby oil in my uh, bathroom. So let me tell you about those. I don't like those baby oils, Johnson & Johnson baby oils. I don't like them. Once I finish them all up, I'm not gonna repurchase them. They do not moisturize my skin. To me, they do nothing for my skin. Uh, the only way I use those, I use them uh, directly after I shower. I'll, you know, put it on my body then, and it works that way. But I don't, I don't want those back in my collection. And I, come to think of it i have some baby oil gels i don't know if that qualifies those i would repurchase along with like the vaseline oil gel i don't have that in my collection but that's really good too those oil gels if you want that gleaming shiny skin those do the job okay it feels like it was another oil i wanted to mention that i forgot when i picked up this one besides the Johnson & Johnson baby oils. Oh, Vaseline, I have, well, it's discontinued, but the, the, uh, the one they did for Black History Month um, with the cocoa shimmer, that, that's a really good one too, but it's discontinued, and that's probably why I didn't think to bring it up here. Even though I brought some other discontinued stuff, I just honestly forgot it, y'all. But that's good. If you can find it, if you see it anywhere, um, the Vaseline Shimmer uh, Body Oil, it is really good, too. Okay, Vaseline Radiant Hydrating Body Replenishing Oil. This is a good oil, too. This oil, does it have a scent? It's been a minute since I've used it. Uh, to me, this one doesn't have really much of a, of a fragrance either, but it is a wonderful, affordable oil. Like I said, all these oils, like these right here especially, they feel really good on your skin. They're good quality body oils. It's just that they don't have a, a fragrance. And if I can get a good quality body oil that smells really good, I'm going to go for the one with the fragrance. But this is really a really good one. I'm not going to say I'm not going to repurchase it because I love to wear this one, especially with the matching body butter. So good. Okay, this next one is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Oil. I just added this one to my collection too. This oil is so good. It says on here for dull skin. Oh my, ooh. This smells like fruity tropical paradise. Your skin, now this is an oily oil. Now, some oils are oilier than others. This is one that's thick. It sits. It takes a minute to sink in, but it's worth it, honey. Okay? You talking about shiny, gleaming, smelling good, tropical goddess skin. This is it. I love this. I think this is, did I say the price is $10 or less? I'll just say under $15 for the Vaseline. This was $10 because I remember because I recently just purchased it. Good, 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 good. This next body oil you can find at Trader Joe's. I know they have all the Brazilian nut products out right now. And this is the body oil. This smells really good. Again, this is one of the oils I'll, I'm using instead of using my... Ooh, my um for Misa oil because it's affordable it smells really good i know some people say they really didn't like this oil i didn't have any problems with it it smelled good it felt good so it's under ten dollars now this is one you may have to hunt down um if people are still buying up all the brazilian nut products at trader joe's but this is one i would recommend uh to check out at trader joe's it's pretty packaging and I've tried some products from the Brazilian nut line that I was not impressed with, but this I was impressed with. It's four fluid ounces, cute packaging, smells really good, feels really good. I recommend this body oil. Okay, so here are two that are, I don't know if they're like drugstore, but 
they're more on the affordable side and this this line is at target so i have two salt air body oils the first one I have and the first one I ever purchased when it was viral, couldn't find it, waited forever, is the Pink Beach Nourishing Body Oil. As you can see, it's well loved. You have a pump, smells really good. It's like a, it's like a pink coconutty scent. Um, these are $22. I have to order them online. I don't know where you can purchase them in store. For some reason, Target sells everything else from Salt Air, but not the body oils. So I love this and would recommend these oils, especially for the price. You get free shipping. Usually if you, you got about, I usually buy two body oils and boom, I got free shipping because I can't remember the price of free shipping, but it's 30 some dollars. I don't know, but two body oils gets me the free shipping. This is in Santal Bloom. This has that, I got this towards the end of summer last year. It has that um, Soleil Blanc type of, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc type of uh, fragrance. Very summery, floral type of scent. Love them both. And I'm still thinking about the other two I don't have in my collection. But y'all, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait because I still don't know about that orange one, whatever that one's called, that people were loving. I'm still not uh, sure about that scent. So I'm just going to wait till I finish up one of those and then maybe I will try another salt air body oil. But I do recommend them affordable. I just wish they were sold in Target. Okay, y'all. This next oil I got from Macy's this is the YSL Lieb body oil. I love this body oil. This is expensive. I want to say this one, let's just say under $70 because I can't remember. I know it's over 50 but I think it's under 70 So it's 60 some dollars, I believe. It smells just like the original Lee, but softer. This layers well with all the Lee perfumes. It layers well with other fragrances. It's just, I just love this body oil. It's so good. And I would repurchase it. I would repurchase it even though it is expensive. I would repurchase this one. Now, when I get to this other brand, they do have their version of Lee. Knowing me, I don't know. I don't know. I might still just get this one because it's so luxe looking. And if it's so lightweight, it's easy on it's easy to use on your skin, you know, because some some oils take a little work. This is just easy. Love that Lee oil. This is another oil I love. I ordered this from Nordstrom. And since I'm on Nordstrom, these other three, I believe I ordered from Nordstrom too. This is the La Licious The Oil. I haven't been able to find this on Nordstrom's website anymore, which I'm sad about. This is a light, sweet, delicious smelling oil. Again, it's just like that leave oil. It's light, it's easy to use, it's easy. Okay, like this oil, it's a little thicker. A little, but not, you know, not like overly thick. Like I told you, this oil is an oily oil. This one is just like water. It just feels so good putting it on. You smell so good, it's long lasting. I know you can get this on Amazon now since I, I haven't seen it um, the last time I checked at Nordstrom, but maybe it was just out of stock that day. But when I use this up, I will definitely repurchase this. I love this body oil. Pump. And then, I, you know, you can see how much you're using. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, another one. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe this was this Bloomingdale's or Nordstrom. Yeah, I don't, I can't remember. But this is the Maison Francis Kirk de Jean Baccarat Rouge 540 Scented Body Oil. As you can see, well loved, well used. This body oil, oh, I can't really smell anything right now. Okay, there it is. You know, it smells, it has that Baccarat vibe, but this is one you can layer to, and it enhances, I believe, any fragrance combination. Any fragrance combination, you just wanna boost or enhance that, what, you, what you're smelling like. This is the oil to get. I love this oil, it is expensive. I wanna say, oh, this Lalicious oil is under $40. This oil, I wanna say it's maybe 100 or a little bit under 100. I would definitely repurchase this though. Definitely repurchase it. I have no interest 
and purchasing the Baccarat Rouge 540 perfume, but the oil, and if he came out with more oils, um, maybe he does have more oils and I just haven't, I haven't seen them, but I would definitely repurchase this oil. I love it. Love it. Okay, another oil I got from Nordstrom is the Puffles de Marley Delina body oil. This oil is $100. It smells good, but this oil is one I I don't see myself repurchasing. And I'll tell you why when I get to another oil. But this one is nice. It's light. It does smell really good. But I just, it, I mean, it this is a Parfums de Marley Delina, their Delina body oil. But I have other body oils that smell better that are not their brand, their house. That smells, they have better smelling body oils with this Delina DNA. So that's why I don't feel like I will repurchase this one. Once I use it up, I feel like I'm, I'm good. I'm not repurchasing it again. Okay, the last body oil I remember purchasing, well, this is from... Nordstrom is the Toka Julieta body oil. And this is a dry body oil, if I remember correctly. So this has a pretty good dent in it. This smells really good. It's that shampooy, clean, fresh, pretty scent. Okay, these okay, this is the only body oil I've tried. I'm not really impressed with the body oil. The fragrance, yes. But the body oil is not to me that great. I don't feel like it gives much sheen, much shine. I feel like I have to use a ton of it to get the performance I want from it. If I rem I'm going to say this is under $50 because I can't remember exactly how much this costs. I don't feel like I would repurchase this oil. I don't feel like I would. I mean, it's... It smells real. Okay, the only way I can see myself being sucked into getting this again is because of the scent. But the oil is not a great formulation in my opinion. But the smell is superb. Again, that is Toka Julieta body oil. Okay, this next body oil I have is from Skin Potion. This is a Karma Sutra Revitalizing Body Oil. This is the body oil that smells like Delina, but smells 10 times better than Delina. Than the Parfum de whoo, This, whoo, this is potent, sexy rose. It smells so good. Now this oil is $100. Now I have another Skin Potion body oil and it is the Cookie Butter Oil. I can't remember, I don't know where, what I, where I put it up for the winter. I'm looking, I don't know what I did with it. That's, that oil is thicker. I don't know if I, I don't love that oil yet. I don't love the scent of it yet. Um, I love the Kama Sutra. Would I purchase more Skin Potion oils? No. These are ones, I am curious about some of their new ones, but it's such a hassle to, to find these in stock they take quite a minute to ship that I would have to be really in love or obsessed or super duper duper curious for me to order more skin potion oils or products because it's just, it's a lot to me to, to get them. And I don't like waiting forever for my stuff. I don't like waiting forever for it to get in stock. And then I don't, I don't like waiting forever to have it shipped to me so that is a big con for me when i finish up this oil i don't know i love the way this smells so like i said it would have to be something that i'm in love with or i just can't get off my mind i'm curious about it for me to order more but they are very good quality honey they're a hundred dollars but a honey child you, a one drop you're shining soft and smelling utterly divine so they are very good quality products the oils i've tried extremely high quality okay so nothing against the product itself at all i just wanted to make that perfectly clear so those are my thoughts on the skin potion karma sutra body oil Whew. okay y'all since this is closest to me these are my Dawkins Aroma Body Oils. I'm just gonna show you all of them and then I'll talk about them. So I have Shy Love, 
well loved. Well, Shy Love is the one that smells like um, Killian Love Don't Be Shy. This oil is so good, so good. Instant repurchase. Pink Cotton, so good. It has that fresh laundry plus cotton candy scent. Instant repurchase once I use it up. Fun Fair is a newer one in my collection. It is powdery, sugary, uh, vanilla, mango. I don't know if I'm gonna fall in love, in love with this one. We shall see, but I love the way it smells. Caramel Glacé body oil, as you can see, well loved. Caramel Glacé is that Lyra um, caramel, um, citrusy sweet oil this is one i don't know if i would instantly repurchase this it smells good you know to layer to layer i would get this but i just didn't fall in love with the scent of this one as you saw shy love is my number one from from dawkins aroma so far so far shy love is uh, incomparable okay but this is a good one as you can see well loved this is one i got towards the end of the summer bananas brulee this smells like banana laffy taffy it smells so good i do like this it's fun um for a banana scented body oil i like the uh, they have another one out i just don't know if i need two banana scented body oils you know what i mean so I have the perfume sample. So I'm gonna really wear that, choose like a day or a weekend to really focus on that scent. And then I will know if I if it's worth it to get the body oil. But I do love the way this smells. Candy and Neroli is a new one I just added to my collection. It smells like Byredo Sundays. It smells like Fineries uh, Magnetic Candy. That citrusy type of sweet candy scent. Love the way this smells. And the last one I have from Dawkins Aroma is Cherry Shock. This is another one I just added to my collection. I believe this is a dupe of Tom Ford's Electric Cherry and it smells divine. It smells divine. So I have nothing bad to say about Dawkins Aroma except the stopper. I do not like the, the, these stoppers. I told you all from these Frenchy ones, I don't like oils with these stoppers. Give me a pump or just let me do this. I don't, I can't stand them. I cannot stand them. But the scent of these, 10 out of 10. The performance, the way they last, the way your skin feels using these oils, they are 10 out of 10. Love them, okay? They are so, 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 so good. And they say that they only last six months. But I've had all of my over six months. And like the Asia Cosmetics body oils I had, they started smelling like oil instead of the fragrance past the expiration date these i haven't had an issue with that was good that was a drawback for me getting more oils uh when that's when they said six months but i think they've changed it to a year now they're good y'all they are good these are 3.4 fluid ounces the body oils i want to say i want to say they're 40 dollars they're, they're body oils but i love them I love them and there are a couple more I do want in my collection and instant repurchases once I run out that I have no doubt of I have now some of these I haven't used like cherry shock I haven't used I feel like that would be an instant repurchase but the pink cotton and the shy love if I if you don't get any oil from Dawkins Aroma but shy love try this one out it layers so well with so much it's so good so good okay the last body oils we're going to talk about are from brown sugar babe so i ordered 12 of these sample body oils and did a whole video on them if you haven't seen it i will link it above check it out and now i only have three left out of the 12 i ordered i've ordered two full sizes I know I ordered three. Where is the chocolate one? So it's one that's supposed to smell like uh, chocolate greedy from Montal. And I don't know where I put those when I put them away because I'm not wasn't getting ready to use them right now. But as you can see, I ordered 12. I've used up all but three. 
and I've ordered three full size. So this is caked up. This smells like if you have confetti cake pop or vanilla, what is it called? Confetti sparkle. Ooh, this is vanilla buttercream in, in a container. And it's so good. Now their packaging is not, you know, you can pop this open and use it that way. Um, Cause you can take this stopper out, but I just tend to leave the stopper in and just pour it out in my hands. So I don't love the packaging, you know, it's not bad, but like this oil, some of these oils, like princess treatment, this, I love this. This oil is four fluid ounces. And I think this oil is almost 70 bucks. Okay. This smells like Killian princess. It smells good though, y'all. <laughs> it smells good. But these oils vary in price. It depends on what fragrance they're duping. And it also depends if it's their own original uh, body oil that they created. Their prices range, they vary. And that can be a little annoying. Like caked up, I wanna say maybe is 40 or under, but then this one is 60 something. So, you know. Now the other three I have left, I have uh, Creme de la Creme. This smells like Vanilla 28. I have just a little bit left of Cherry Bomb. And I have, well, Cherry Bomb is supposed to be Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And then Hush is supposed to be Ani. What is that? Nishani, Nishani, Ani. Girl, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a niche perfume that to me smells very similar to Black Oak. But I can't remember what it's called. Okay, so just from seeing, I have six total in my collection. I have three full size and then three travel size, tester size. I love Brown Sugar Babe. Love them. We'll continue to purchase more oils from them. To me, the scent lasts well to layer. They're long lasting and I thoroughly enjoy them. Now they're, they're pricing. And like I said, the price varies dependent on the, depending on the oil. So there is that, but I love them. So y'all, I am tired after <laughs> filming this video. So let me see, let me just look at them. I'm already gonna tell you Dawkins Aroma, top five. Brown Sugar Babe, they're gonna be in my top ones. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm not just going off of fragrance, I'm going off of the way they feel, the way they perform. To be in my top five, you gotta do both. The Tree Hut Body Oils, honey, no doubt. No doubt. Um, I think I'm gonna have a top 10. Coconut from Pink, perfection. Um, and like I said, I'm thinking about the feel, the way they last, everything. These Nukes oils, they are perfection also. The YSL leave, just, it's, it's got to be in there, y'all. It's just got to. Um, the ones from Le Decote, Le, Le Mans Gourmand, these are really good too. I keep going back and forth, but I, I gotta put the Baccarat 5 Rouge 540 because it's so good to me to just layer. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have two more spots. Cause see, I like all of these oils for different reasons, but I'm trying, uh, you know how I am when I'm, when I'm ranking things, I like to be stricter and give you the best of the best to me. So I hate to do this one because I feel, I don't know if you can get it, but it's that good to me. The Lalicious, I fell in love with this body oil. So that leaves one more spot. One more spot. <sighs> one more spot. And I'm, I'm saying, do I should I put in a drugstore oil or should I just put in, no, I'm just gonna put in what I think is worth it. And really I could do more like salt. I might do honorable mentions, but this one has to go in here because this oil impressed the heck out of me, the, the handy. 
Okay, so top 10, not in any particular order, y'all, but Dawkins, Aroma, Shy Love, this one in particular, and then Brown Sugar Babe oils in general, the Pink Cocoa Oil, love it. The Le Mon Gourmand Body Oils, they're just really good. The Lalicious the oil the ysl leave oil the uh mfk baccarat rouge 540 oil the nukes body oils i just picked this one and the tree hut oils all of them and then lastly the hanny good aura oil so those are my top 10 so for the affordable honorable mentions, I'm going to say the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Oil, especially since we're going into summer. This is so good. I'm going to say the Salt Air Body Oils, if you don't mind ordering online, they are so good. And I couldn't leave this one out, y'all. The TPH Body Oil, this is an honorable mention. It's more on the affordable side. So good. Smells good. Um, and lastly, this is not affordable, but I have to mention this one because I, I love this oil. And that's the Sol de Janeiro Bump, Boom Boom Body for Misa Oil. It didn't make it to the top 10 because there are a lot of dupes in here that you can, like Tropic Glow, that's a dupe of it from Tree Hut. But this is just good, y'all. It's good. So that that's my body oil collection. I, I forgot some, but I mentioned the ones that, and I, the ones I mentioned, that's all I can remember I have in my collection. So y'all, as you can see, I have a substantial body oil collection. I don't need any more body oils, but guess what? I check Target every day for the Naturium body oil because I want it. I just love body oils and I know I'm going to use them. I know I'm going to use them up. So I don't really worry about them. So as requested, this is my review and ranking of my body oils. If you all enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me your favorite body oils because if they're not up here, if I don't have them, I will definitely try me some body oils, okay? So please leave down below your favorite body oils. Please share this video with everyone because we are trying to keep it growing in 2024. And please don't forget to turn on your notify bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye